Hey guys, it's Wendy from Sticky Lore, and today I'm going to show you how I grow apple trees from store-bought apple seeds. Okay, the first thing that you're going to want to do is get some kind of container to put your seeds in. And this is what I've been referring to as a pod. I actually got this from Taco Bell. Um, if you order a side of potatoes, and we're vegan so we'll get plain potatoes, but I think that they may put um, beans and rice in these also. Or if you get anything on the side that needs the size of a container, or you can, might even be able to ask for one for a to-go container, but um, these are perfect for germinating seeds. They're like little tiny greenhouses. And they're extremely durable. I, I've used these over and over and over again. So, what I do is I'll take a cotton ball and pull it apart And then I will make sure that it's pretty much covering the bottom of this little pod here. Okay, then you want to take a spray bottle. If you have one, you could use just water from, from the sink if you need to, but um, you're going to need to make sure that you don't put too much water in here. So really a spray bottle is the best method, but... Um, and for later on if you ever need to mist it. So you're just going to basically just barely get your cotton ball wet so that it's not dripping. So I usually will just do this. Okay. So I have some seeds that I got from an apple, and I'm not going to show you how I got them out of the apple. I'm just going to have to assume that you know how to get apple seeds out of an apple. And I'm going to put them around on the bottom of this little pod here. Just give them a little bit of room between each other but make sure that they're touching part of the cotton ball so that they're always staying a little bit damp. Okay, and then I'm going to put the lid on. And then I'm going to label it with some tape. So see, these were from Gala Apples. So I'll just put Gala. And then I'm going to put today's date on, which is August 2nd. Okay, there was no need to put the date on when they were just little seeds sitting in here because nothing had happened to them yet. But as soon as I put them in this little pod to start germinating them, I'll put the date on. And this date will follow these little seeds every time I transfer them to another container. Now, from what I've learned watching other YouTubers and doing some online research, if you're going to be growing apple trees from store-bought apples, you're going to want to make sure that you have two different varieties of apple seeds because so that you'll have better success with pollination. So I've also saved some pink lady seeds and I'm going to go ahead and do a pink lady pod. Okay, 
Okay, now we have our two pods, and you're going to put them in the refrigerator. I usually push them to the back so they won't be disturbed. And you really don't need to check on them for at least two or three weeks. But then after that, you're going to peek at them every few days and see if you have any roots starting to form. Okay, so here I have two examples of apple seeds at different stages that I've had in my refrigerator. This is the one that's been in the longest. As you can see, it is from May 14th, and these have started to germinate. You see the little roots in there? So these are ready to be transferred to a little container with some soil in it. These are from June 5th, and I'm not seeing any roots yet, so these will stay in, and we'll just keep checking on them every few days. Now, another reason you want to check on them is because you want to make sure that they're still damp. You can see the condensation on the lids of these two pods. You definitely want condensation in your pods or whatever container you're using. I've seen people use Ziploc baggies or you could probably even use Tupperware or um, some sort of plastic container since I know these work well. Um, anything that you have that could um, kind of trap the air in and the moisture. If you ever open your pod and notice that your cotton ball or your tissue or your paper towel or whatever it is that you've used to line the bottom of your container with is starting to get dry, then you want to mist it again, okay? But don't get it too wet. Just mist it and keep it nice and damp so that the seeds don't dry out. Okay, so this process of putting it in the refrigerator is called stratification, and I'll let you look that up to get more information on it, but so far it's working well for me because I do have my first six seeds that I started from apple seeds that are now little trees. I had 100% germination, and they are doing well. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I'm going to take a container that I got from the grocery store that had, uh, this one had sesame sticks in it, but you could take any kind of plastic container that had food in it from the grocery store because then you know that it's food safe plastic. Okay, and we're going to use it as a little container to plant our seeds in. So, of course, you're going to want to poke some holes in the bottom for drainage. Okay, so something like that should do it, and it doesn't have to be perfect. They're not going to be in this container very long, but you want to make sure that it does have some holes to drain. And I'm going to go ahead and put some soil in it, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I filled my container with soil, and because I'm sitting at my coffee table right now filming this, I'm going to put a towel underneath this container because um, when I come back, I'm going to have wet the soil just under the sink in my kitchen. I'm going to get the soil nice and wet just one time all the way through and let it drain out the bottom and I'll be right back. Okay, now I've run water over the whole surface of the soil and let it drain out the bottom so that when we put our seeds in, they're immediately going to be surrounded by some nice wet soil. And when you get ready to transfer your seeds, I always like to count how many there are so I can kind of figure out how I'm going to arrange them in the container. So you want to very carefully remove them from the pod. I'm just going to put them in the lid here as I take them out. Okay, I have three seeds left here with no roots. But I'm going to go ahead and put them in the soil because they might just be slow starters. Um, I'm going to make sure that I am paying attention to which row that I put them in so that we can watch their progress. 
Okay, I've counted the seeds here. There are 11 seeds with roots and three seeds without roots. So the best configuration for 14 seeds would be to sort of do it as if we had 15, where we have three rows of five, but um, instead of one of the rows having five seeds, it'll only have four. And if that ever happens where there's an uneven amount of seeds in the rows, I'll always put that uneven amount in the middle. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and poke little holes Okay, so I've got five holes here. Okay, when you're poking your holes, you don't want to go too deep. If it's more than two times the size of your seed, then it might be too deep. So as you can see here, I'm not going very far down into the dirt. So it's always a good idea to go ahead and poke them so you can get an idea of where they're going to be. And if you make any mistakes, you can just cover it up and start over again. Okay, in the middle, we're only putting four, and since I want to keep an eye on three of them specifically that didn't have roots when I transferred them, I'm going to put three together, then I'm going to skip a space, and then put one of the ones that I know has a root. Okay, then you can just drop your little apple seeds down into each little hole. Okay, and then carefully cover them up, make sure the roots are under the soil, but you don't have to push them down into the soil at all. You just want to carefully cover them up. Okay, once I've covered my seeds up, I always like to just kind of mess the top again, like that. And then I put them in the windowsill until they start to sprout. Okay, the last thing we want to do, and this is an important step, so don't forget, is we want to take the information from our pod and put it onto this new container so we don't forget what we've planted in here. Okay, so I've written Gala Apples, May 14th, on a piece of tape. and that's going right there on the side of the container. Now, I know that when I'm looking at the container from this side, that my three seeds that had no roots are over on the right-hand side. Okay, now we're ready to put this container in the window. And we're gonna keep an eye on it until we see some little sprouts. Here is an example of some lemon trees that I'm growing. Now lemon tree seeds have to be treated a little differently and I'll talk about that in another video. But um, I have 10 lemon trees that are growing here. Okay, here are the first six apple trees that I grew from apple seeds from the store. This is the size of the container that I'm talking about that they get moved to after they come out of the one that we just planted them in as seeds with little roots on them. So this is the next step and these were started on April 28th. So they're doing pretty good. And here's a little something that I learned about fruit trees is that an orchard is generally considered to be at least five trees, five or more trees. So since I have six here, I am the proud owner of an apple orchard. And you can be too. If you're growing seeds at home, I'd love to know how you're doing, any tips or tricks you have for me. And if you have any questions or comments about this video or have any suggestions for some upcoming videos, I'd love to know those too. Just put it down in the comments below. I'll add any kind of relevant links about anything that I've talked about in this video in the description box below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.